Hi guys and welcome back. Um, last time I told you I was gonna show you how to make a 3D polygon into a normal polygon that you can draw on the screen. Um, before I can do all this I need to add a f uh, or actually fix a few mistakes I made the last time. So first off um, I don't want to use integers for the x and y values. Uh, that would make it very unprecise. So I'm just gonna change all this to doubles. This won't change uh, that much, but um, later when we do all the calculations, it's good to have everything in doubles. So here we'll run into a problem because these polygon inbuilt x points they are integers. So I'm just gonna run a loop. Um, i equals x dot i, I equals zero and i. E smaller than x dot length i plus plus. so we're gonna run a loop and each time the loop runs we're gonna set the x points actually we're gonna add a new point um, and this point will be the x to the y and the y to the i so I can remove these and then they should may automatically set the endpoints. So something's wrong here. Yeah, it's because it can't take doubles. So we just surround this in a double. Oh, sorry, int. Yeah. So um, that should be working for this class. Um, still have the, this polygon. We need to change the integers to doubles. Pretty easy. So I'm actually gonna write this a bit different like that. So now that it's all changed, I'm gonna add one more thing before we start the calculations. I'm gonna change it so that um, in the screen we have an integer integer called uh, polygons. And we set it to equal to zero. Actually ca call it number of polygons pretty long, long name but um, so uh, in the paint component we're gonna do a loop and it, this loop is gonna run for the amount of time um, amount of polygons we have so i is smaller than number of polygons then i plus plus so for each time we have a, a polygon we're just gonna draw it and these are the polygon objects we're gonna draw so for this to work we need to add an array of these polygons. So polygon object will make it into an array. Then I'm just gonna call it drawable polygons. Tools new polygon object. I'm just gonna make it like hundred. So here we're gonna go drawable polygons and then Y, and then draw a polygon. So this way, um, we will draw all our polygons we've made. I'm gonna make this value static, number of polygons, um, and I'm gonna make this value static as well. Um, the uh, the polygon objects, I'm gonna access them from another class as well. Um, so each time we make a new polygon, we wanna increase this number by one. Easiest way to do that is in this constructor. It runs each time a new object is being uh, created. So we call this screen and then dot this uh, plus plus. So yes, that's working fine. Um, so now we need to create some poly probable polygons, uh, and we're gonna create it in this the 3D polygon. Um, each time this runs. Uh, we're gonna call a function called create polygon and I'm just gonna make it now void create polygon and then in here we're gonna create in this screen object in this screen um, variable drawable polygons we're gonna add one so screen dot drawable polygons and then it's gonna be um, the next one in the line so screen dot 
number of polygons, then set it equal to a new um, new polygon object. And in here we are f at for now we are just gonna write some some random numbers, but later we this is where we'll have all the the numbers that are that we have calculated. So new end just actually is a double. Just gonna make some doubles here. Double x equals new double. Hmm. Ah, never mind. I'm just gonna write in my x and my y and my color, my c. So now we have made uh, so that each time we make a new 3D polygon it will automatically make a drawable polygon but these values are not correct these are the values we are gonna calculate so I'm gonna make a new, new class called calculator this will sp uh, only be to calculate a uh, different um, different things you need for 3D so in here we need a, a function called uh, gonna call it Hmm. Void calculate uh, position, and it's gonna take two of more. Uh, I think it's gonna take five arguments. First off, it's gonna need the um, the position so, uh, we're looking from. So a new end, new double uh, view from. And we're gonna need to know where we're looking at. These are the same values we've made in here, um, right here. But we need to have them as an argument here, so we can use this in different ways. Uh, view to hmm, something's not wrong right here. Mm. Oh well, don't need this new. And then we need uh, we need the x and y and set values of the thing, the uh, polygon uh, point we're gonna we're gonna calculate the position to. So um, double x, double y, double set. So this should be all we need, and then we are going to return. Um, we're going to return the. We're gonna set the right uh, points. But um, I'm gonna do this in the next video. Um, I thought I could do it in this, but uh, there was a bit too too much to have in one video. So see you next time.